Right, binary trees and binary trees and mathematical expressions. We've already gone through some of these concepts with our alphabetical sorting. It's exactly the same structure uh, for storing any type of data because data has to be stored with a number system in binary. We've got our root node, and then we've got a sub node, and we've got a leaf node. We must always remember what makes up a node and a leaf node. A leaf node, you must remember, is when there is no other branch. Just like a leaf is um, the end of a branch on a normal tree, so with a binary tree we call this a leaf node because you can go no further and that's a very important concept. Uh, and also another important concept is every node has to have two branches ending in a node. So the green represents the root node which has two subnodes and, and this particular node has to uh, subnodes there, but these are known as leaf nodes or child nodes because uh, we cannot go any further, just like the leaf is the very end of a, a branch, as it were. Now, traversing a binary tree is the way you systematically work your way down a tree. The key terms here are in order, pre order, and post order. In order, the node is in between the left right sequence. Uh, so we systematically look at the left, we go up to the node, and then we go right. With pre-order, we start at the node, go left, right, and with post-order, we start left, go right, and then look to the node. Why trees? Well, we've already, uh, I've explained before in the alphabetical example, uh, that computers cannot really store data, it doesn't, a computer can never know what data really means, but it can uh, order things in ascending or descending order. And arithmetic expressions like this are completely ambiguous. Okay? Um, in other words, um, it wouldn't know in what order to compute that. So a binary tree stores the data in an expression that's understandable. And going back to this slide, it stores it in that way, that way, or that way. And, of course, if it stores it, it can retrieve it. Um, I'm going to skip that operations. We've been through that, but that's basically what you can expect to do with the binary tree. Create, uh, traverse left, traverse right, retrieve an item, and exhaust the tree. Uh, go until the array is ended or the tree is empty. Uh, we visit each node systematically, and when we say in order, pre order, or post order, it is the method of visiting a node. That's what I like to think of when I'm thinking of these three methods. It's the way in which we visit a node. We either visit a node and then go left, right, or we go left of the node and then go back up to the node and go right, depending on the method of systematically working through our binary tree. This is known as the left node right, and the N is in between L and R, so it's the in uh, order. Okay? So it's the in order or you hopefully will remember the type of expression in fix. Um, here we got an example. Whoops. Uh, A to the power of B, uh, C multiplied by D, and uh, E minus F, and then of course, this is this is wrong. 